Looking at Achilles tendon ruptures in the NBA, this is a massive topic, big implications for your favourite team, big implications for your favourite players and fantasy teams. Um, Achilles tendon ruptures make a massive difference to uh, minutes played and performance. Now we're going to look at this in detail from this article, something called a systematic review, which bundled a whole lot of medical studies together and analysed the data, looking at the performance of NBA players after an Achilles tendon rupture. And the first thing we're going to look at is rate of return to play, so how many NBA players make it back after having an Achilles tendon rupture and then needing surgery. And it's somewhere between 61% and 79%, so two thirds to three quarters of players make it back. Now that is actually worse than most other orthopedic injuries. If you have an ACL reconstruction, it's 84%. If you have meniscus repair, it's about 81%. If you have a fracture of the hand or the wrist or the foot, it's more than 90%. So it's a big injury, Achilles tendon rupture. The next area we looked at is time to return to play. So the average NBA player takes about 10 and a half months to make it back after having surgery. So if your favorite player goes down, it's gonna be ages before you see them back, almost up to a year. The next thing we looked at is what durability and playing time they had after having uh, their injury and repair. So there's almost a third in reduction in the number of games they play in the first two seasons back after having an Achilles tendon repair, so that's a massive uh, difference. Preoperatively, they're averaging about 72 games a season, whereas that drops to 48.9 in the first season and then 49.7 in the second season. So um, that's a massive reduction in the number of output in terms of the number of games they're playing for, uh, for the team. There's almost a 50%, well more than 50% reduction in the total minutes they play in the first season back as well. So um, you're not going to see them on the park anywhere near as much after they've had Achilles tendon rupture and repair. And then um, they actually start less, 21 less games in their first seasons back than uh, than what they did before sustaining the injury. So um, if you look at the total games that started before they had uh, the operations about 49 versus 20 in the first year after the operation. So big difference. Then lastly, look at the effect on player efficiency rating, r- rating. So people ask, well, what is a player efficiency rating? It was created by ESPN to rank players. And it's a score that's basically based on the positives and the negatives of the player's performance. So things like field goals, free throws, three-pointers, and blocks and steals count as positives. Um, whereas negatives count are things like missed shots, turnovers, uh, and fouls. Um, and then that's calculated as a per-minute performance. Now, for instance, Kobe Bryant, as an example, averaged about 22.9 as a PER per season. The average of the players in the, stud- in the um, players studied was about 16.1. So these, the ones in the, the uh, medical study were above average players um, because the average uh, in the league is about 15. Um, so they were averaging 16 pre-surgery. Um, then post-surgery, if we look at the number, it was 12.3 in their first season. So they became below average players after having an Achilles tendon repair, right? This is this is a generalization. This is what was called the mean score, so the average score. And then 12.6 was the um, average score in their second season. So still in a, a below average player. So you can see in the first two years back, they're nowhere near as good as what they normally are. So look, if you enjoyed this talk, please uh, take a look at our Achilles tendon rupture talk in more detail or subscribe to our channel at the Foot and Ankle Orthopedic Surgeon. Thank you once again for listening. If you have any suggestions on videos you would like, please leave it in the comments section uh, and I'll see you next time.